Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Today we're going to do another payback time video and we're going to talk about LED light bulbs today and in particular focusing on how long it would take to recoup the cost of changing all your light bulbs from halogen to LED and then we're going to talk about the return on your investment on doing so. For this video we are going to use uh, an example of a house with three bedrooms, two toilets um, and some other things. So uh, each bedroom will have three bulbs, there'll be a walk-in robe with one extra bulb in there, there'll be two toilets with two light bulbs in there, a laundry powder room with one bulb, a corridor light with one bulb, a kitchen with two light bulbs, one dining room with one bulb, one closet with one bulb, a lounge room with three bulbs, a study rumpus room with one bulb, a garage with two light bulbs, a porch area with two bulbs, a backyard deck area with two bulbs, and the sides of the house with two bulbs. And as you can see, they all add up to 24 light bulbs in this particular example. Now, let's talk about lumens. So, in the old days, you would talk about uh, the wattage for a light bulb. Nowadays, I guess it's more relevant to talk about lumens because you want to get an equivalent amount of intensity or how bright uh, a bulb is compared to the old 60 watt incandescent bulb, which uh, is no longer available here in Australia. So, most people in Australia would now have halogen light bulbs, and for an equivalent 60 watt, bulb uh, that produces 800 lumens, that's about a 42 watt halogen bulb. Uh, that's the equivalent of an 11 watt CFL or a compact fluorescent light, which is the picture in the middle there. Uh, we'll come back to that example a bit later on in the video, but I'm going to focus primarily in this video about LED light bulbs. LED stands for light emitting diode, uh, and a 9 watt LED bulb will uh, produce the same amount of uh, light as a 60 watt incandescent bulb, or a 42 watt halogen bulb. So if you were to replace all your light bulbs from halogen to LED, you would be saving 42 watts minus 9 watts, which is a saving of 33 watts per bulb per day. I'm going to make some assumptions here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to assume that uh, the lights come on at 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock every day. Now, of course, in winter, the lights come on sooner. In summer, lights come on later. But across the year, it's about 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. on average. So that gives you about four hours of light per day. Uh, I'm going to assume that 50% of those 24 light bulbs we talked about earlier are on at any time. If you have 12 of those light bulbs on at any time, you'll be saving 33 watts uh, over 4 hours uh, times 12 light bulbs. That's 1.6 kilowatt hours per day. And the fourth assumption is that you know how to change a light bulb. I can't help you there. Sorry. So how much does an LED bulb cost? Well, I just had a look at the Audi catalog this week. Um, Aldi is Trader Joe in America, but uh, we call it Aldi here in Australia, uh, and that's $2.99 per bulb. So if you were to buy 24 bulbs at $2.99 each, you would be paying $71.76 up front, and these are all in Australian dollars. So what is the payback time? Well, the standard tariff in New South Wales currently is, is $0.30 cents per kilowatt hour. If you are saving 1.6 kilowatt hours, then you are saving $0.48 cents per day. How many times does 48 cents go into 71.76? 150 days, which is about five months with this particular scenario. So after five months, you're saving 48 cents per day over 365 days a year. That's $175.20. So of your initial investment of $71.76, your return on investment is 244% per annum. That's after five months. That's pretty good, if you ask me. That's uh, better than most investments that I can think of. So in summary, in this particular example, you've got 24 bulbs. 50% of them are switched on for four hours per day. Obviously, if you've got more lights switched on for, most, for more of the day, then you're saving more money. If you've got less lights switched on for less of the day, then you're saving less money. But for this example, you are saving 48 cents per day, uh, and that's your payback time of five months if you're switching from halogen to LED, and if your initial investment was $71.76, which means your return on investment is 244% per annum. Quick note about CFL, or compact fluorescent light, versus LED. So for an equivalent 800 lumens, uh, you will need an 11 watt CFL. If you already have CFL in your house, then you may want to wait till that blows, because a CFL will last you 8,000 hours, uh, whereas an LED light will last 25,000 hours. So, you know, it's still quite a long time. It's still four times longer than uh, uh, the old halogen lights. So my advice is 
wait till your CFL lights uh, blow before changing to LED. Whereas you, if you have halogen lights, then I think it's definitely worth changing straight away to LED. Well, thank you for watching. I uh, hope that made sense. Uh, I've certainly changed all my lights to LED from halogen and uh, I'm certainly re reaping the benefits as we speak. Thank you for watching. Hope you're having a great day where you are. And as always, happy charging. Hey, thanks for watching, and thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe. We would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging!